So let's jump back to uh, EEG. Uh, so we have this 16 channels of EEG recording. There's an actual seizure coming up on this uh, recording. Um, so you can see that the theta, alpha, beta are pretty low. So say beta is around 400. As we increase the number of seconds, the seizure should be coming through. And we get uh, um, the ratio between delta and theta going up. Because there is more high frequency components. Oop. So this obviously doesn't work well to getting an arrow with this so essentially this uh, scroll i meant to scroll through the whole file but um, it's exceeding the file length oh sorry the file is really long but we're only uh, loading a small portion uh, just so we don't, uh, just so it works uh, quickly enough, because we're not downsampling. It's um, the whole thing is sampled at 400 hertz. Uh, yeah, so we'll need to fix a few things. Hopefully, with this uh, interface, how's that is loaded, how's it displayed, uh, so on and so forth. There's quite a few problems. So there's a option to display the whole spectrum there in purple over here or remove it. So I think default will be removed. Play playback it doesn't work. I mean it doesn't even look like a button to begin with. I couldn't even realize it's the button. Obviously playback speed the speed doesn't do anything. Uh, linear uh, works. Uh, okay, how do you? Yeah, so that's the linear scale. And then you can change it to logarithmic. So you can see more detail because most of the frequency are low, uh, lower frequency range. Uh, changing between channels works okay. So that's actually the seizure there. As you can see it on the different channels. Um, so, okay, so how do we, we want to load it into ChatGPT. Um, so we have the HTML, the Java, oops, yeah, the JavaScript. And the style sheet. Okay, let's start with uh, a HTML, then front end, then back end. Do style at the end. It's actually using a um, project uh, a color a color scheme, which is a good good thing. <laughs> But sometimes it kind of forgets about it when it's making any changes. So we have to just make sure it remembers to use it. Ah, and most importantly, we have this uh, um, prompts. So that's what we started with. Those prompts. Um, yeah, so we have the input output. Uh, we have the file structure. And uh, yeah, we had a problem with the filter order being too high. Um, so we default reduced it. I think it has to be well below five or four. It will be too sharp, become unstable. Oops. A raw signal charts is showing signals, that's okay. Make sure the chart has time as the x, x axis. It actually is time, we just uh, this is a very long file. 
Uh, and yeah, we're moving through the file. And this displaying 60 seconds in it. There are questions that it could be also um, instead of the relative time in the file, it could just show the 10, 10 seconds, so 1 to 10 on the x-axis. Uh, probably can um, make it switchable between relative time. A window size is working okay. So we're loading, um, we actually loading 100 seconds of data. Um, this only lets us display a maximum of 60 seconds. So that should be fine. But then this scroller, um, make sure it's updating the charts, that's okay. So the scroller they update regenerate the whole code, code blah blah. Right, so we start with more um, prompts over here. Make sure the file scroller Let's actually check it. Um, so file file scroll bar. Yeah, why is it maximum of uh, so the file scroller maximum? value is the length it shouldn't be of the file of the loaded um, of the data just say data uh, right <coughs> right so let's pop in so I know those prompts are super long so I don't need to generate this we're just using it for reference and then we go with um, the JavaScript we have done this before should be okay <laughs> but yes we are very likely to hit the 50 prompts per three hour limit um fairly quickly yeah we can stop generating that we'll deal with the style css later um how about we put this as the um, right, just need to make sure it's actually giving us a relevant stuff. Mm, okay, pretty sure we already have it can use duration to load in seconds in the input range set the fast scroll to max value so this will be essentially 100 does that make sense though? Okay, let's see in Python return render template 
max value to load duration to load in seconds and pa -pa 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 -pa, duration to load render template index that sounds legit then in html we need to um the maximum value here it can be replaced by max value uh, surely this is not enough ah no it is okay okay let's see if that works right it does work okay so we're loading 10 seconds worth of data and check so if we load it uh, 60 right so this is scrolling through the whole seizure so for example if you load it 30 seconds yeah this is scrolling through seizure and i do get an error like an edge edge thing edge error from for when i scroll to the very end but that's kind of okay because the interface still uh, working fine um, so that's working much better linear log works okay frequencies ah sorry whole spec yeah this is confusing this needs to be uh, ah the other thing is that uh, we can do that we haven't actually tried before is just popping this interface into a ChatGPT image thingy and uh, just asking to improve improve the the interface the HTML so we can do this uh, paste the page uh, how the front panel can be improved something went wrong regenerate improving the user UI consistent spacing and alignment use drop downs yeah i don't particularly like drop downs i like this scroll scroll bars scrollers yeah, they're pretty nice uh, color palette are you suggesting to use a project uh, color scheme for the charts That's a very good suggestion. You are amazing. Keyboard shortcuts. A playback speed. Okay, so the interactive graphs like what legibility access might be confusing to some users, consider formatting them more straightforward messages um the axis we just pop it into another window no wait let me pop it back because then i forget <laughs> that it's in another window uh, let's do our uh, uh, prompts in here um, pam, 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 pam. 
So a couple of things. The chat labels are already um there remove are repeated twice a HTML and chat title leave the chat the labels in the chat uh, let's start with this quickly should be an easy fix yeah no as in generate the code or regenerate the code Yeah, tooltips could be nice. <laughs> I think after uploading the image, yeah, it uh, went into some sort of architect mode, so it's not writing code anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do <laughs> a few more prompts <laughs> and then try and regenerate the code um because also so normally the way i do it is uh, i have all those copies of both the python html javascript um now that it's working i can remove them uh, we will start again oops just copy paste those for a sec, just as we're not getting mixed up. Right. Chat margin. How to update the code. remove redundant html so we can um, raw signal time domain and frequency spectrum yeah we can um, comment those out for a sec because we already have them uh, in the uh, that didn't happen. Oops. You're doing it in the copy, not the actual HTML. Right, this is kind of better. So we have the scroller working. Yeah, it's giving an arrow when getting to the edge there. It's also funny enough not getting to the to the edges at all but it's okay so we have a seizure in this file yes yeah, so you can see the ratio during seizure the ratio between the uh, delta theta is uh, increasing a lot um yeah I have to kind of look at it uh, case by case Yes, yeah, so this is seizure onset, and this is where the seizure starts. And this is where it ends. So it's actually a good bit to uh, test for. Yeah, I don't like this control. I can't hit that button. And why? Just keep it to 10 seconds, it's kind of default. Yes, you can see the ratio between delta and 
higher frequency components and during seizure the ratio increases well not always but uh, tend tend to increase I just yeah have to uh, make sure we know we remember that the amplitude is scaling there so this is uh, plus minus 400 whereas the baseline is plus minus uh, 100 but that kind of yeah we get this error when we get to the end um, Control shift c let's pop it in there so when this scroll is at the end we get uh, this error margin yeah i'll uh, deal with the um, style css later and scroll what's more important is well, playback doesn't work so let's trick ChatGPT a bit we'll just ask it uh, how it uh, get the, the, this is by the way from uh, copilot get the current value add one to the current value set the file scroll to new value update the chart well does it work uh, let's ask uh, ChatGPT. I think Copal is making too many assumptions. Is it actually how it works or is it how it's supposed to work? Where is it in the code? There isn't clear implementation. Yes, we would like a guidance on how to implement the play button functionality. So in HTML we should have the button already because I can see it on the screen. Or is it just called play? Play button. Okay, I have to change it because that ID is super important. No, we don't need a pause button. And now in JavaScript, what? I don't know why it doesn't remember the previous code. Can JavaScript? How is one thousand is one second? If we have four hundred as sampling rate, that's weird. We have this code already. Now we need this uh, start playback. Uh, button yeah increment seconds by one should already have the fetch um, fetch an update um, start playback uh, what uh, fetch the data. So where's the current the uh, current soup? Current second. Let is playing false. Why is update interval one thousand? How is it one second? Ah, uh, how often to update the data? Update interval. Okay, sorry. And that's in milliseconds. Set timeout. Start playback. Fetch data. Playback. 
plus one, that's okay. Uh, call start playback again after update. Set timeout, start playback, update interval. That's correct. Now in fetch and update chart. Do we have it already? Uh, no. So how many functions do we have? Fetch data and render start playback. Um, can we format document? Why can you just do it in fetch and update chart? Where is second coming from? I have a feeling I will be getting uh, errors. If play and pause is too complicated, I might get rid of it for now. So why fetch and render cannot have a second as an input? It's a bit of a mystery. This is similar to what you do when you scroll, but automated updated chart with a new data. So have you finished with this? No. Why is it loading forever? It keeps coming up with error messages for uh, way too often. No, what is it doing? GPT-4 is ridiculously slow. Okay, yeah, we'll probably hide play and speed for now and make this scroll uh, wider. And GPT-4 giving us grief. It knows what I'm using, right? Assuming chart.js, actually not using chart.js. Right, so returning response JSON. This obviously would not, would not work. Anyway, we hide the playback for now. I can fix this scroll. It's an edge uh, problem when we get to the end of this uh, segment. We get an error. Um, okay, so we can get that uh, index. This is in our Python code. Hey, get that uh, fs start index end index. If start index is out of bounds, well, climb the index if it needs the data length. Should be the max remains the same. We should check for edge conditions. Yes, it's giving an error, but why not just uh, correct for it? That doesn't claim the index if it exists the data length. It doesn't make sense. I have a feeling a copilot could do better job. This way, if there is an error, the user will be informed about it. Can decide how to handle situations such as resetting the scroll position. Yeah, we should just get there to begin with. Regenerate this. Yeah, don't like. Yeah, I think it should be it should be okay. I'm getting that the uh, error on the server side, but for the user, it actually looks fine. Yeah, whole spectrum works okay. Channel selection works fine. Seconds work okay. Right, the training is sent as the signal around zero. That seemed to work fine as well. A filter order actually can be a bit higher. Uh, probably should be uh, limited at 5 instead of 10. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. It's a. Uh, would be giving me an. Uh, yeah, might just limit. Filter order. A uh, max. Uh, let's make it four. Yeah, it works a bit better. All spectrum is turned off by default. You can turn it on if you want. Uh, the X axis for the frequency spectrum is the logarithmic by default. You can turn it into linear if you want to. And play doesn't work, so we might actually hide it for now. Um, yeah, that's unusual. I'm not getting any errors. Um, what's up? Why is it not working? Takes some time to load, which is a whole other problem. Play button is not defined. Well, that's okay because I removed it. Just 82. JavaScript 100. Yes, I removed play speed as well. Right, now it's actually running. And this scroll this scroll should be wider. We don't need a border. We'll make this scroller. Does it Steps of then maybe it's okay, especially if uh, um, how to make wider. We have this scroller in here. And no, would that be that ID? Actually called, yeah, file scroller bar. Oops. Right. So that's what it should be. Old. Right, so that's working. Uh, okay. Only took an hour.